Hello, in this video we're going to look at uh, staggered discretizations of the shallow water equations. In the previous video we saw that if you have the height and the velocity stored at the same locations when solving the shallow water equations, you get grid scale waves that don't propagate. So we showed that the dispersion relation had um, showed grid scale waves with zero frequency. Uh, to solve this problem we don't store the height h and the velocity u at the same locations, we store them at staggered locations. This is a one-dimensional equivalent of a C-grid. And we're still going to use forward-backward time-stepping. So if we store h and u staggered from each other, then we can calculate a gradient of h accurately where u is, and we can calculate a gradient of u accurately where h is stored. So. Um, we're going to use two point spatial differences, so they're still going to be centred, but we're not, they're not going to miss out a point in the middle, and we're still going to use forward backward uh, time stepping. So have a go at writing down the finite difference approximations for all these terms, assuming that h and u are stored here. Uh, you can pause the video and have a go at that, or you can um, pause it halfway and finish off the discretization. So the finite difference approximations for du by dt and dh by dx. Uh, so we're assuming that this equation is at position j plus a half and at time level n. So we're going forward in time to calculate the rate of change with time. Here's du by dt. And then in space, so u plus a half is here. So the, uh, the gradient in the x direction is just hj plus 1 minus hj. We don't have to miss out a point in between. Now we're just dividing by delta x, not 2 delta x. Do the same thing for the h equation, but this time going backward in time. Um, so we're, this is now, h is now at position j, so we've got the, the time uh, rate of change with time as before. Now this is backward in time, so uh, the u gradient is at time level n plus 1. And position hj is, has got u j plus a half and u j minus half either side, so the u gradient is u j plus a half minus u j minus a half. Um, and again we can do von Neumann stability analysis of this scheme. I'm not going to go through all the details, but what you get is that um, the magnitude of the amplification factor is equal to 1 for a current number less than 1, or it's greater than 1 for a current number greater than greater than 1 for some values of k delta x. Therefore, this uh, staggered forward-backward scheme is neutrally stable for current numbers less than 1, less than or equal to 1. Um, we can also calculate the dispersion relation in the same way as before, um, which gives uh, this dispersion relation here, and here's a plot of the dispersion relation, so that's wave frequency as a function of wave number. The black line is the exact dispersion relation, this is the one we got before for the A grid, and we had these grid scale waves with um, zero frequency. And this is what we get for the C grid, much more accurate now. And that grid scale waves propagate too slowly, but they do propagate. That's, so this is looking at like a much more promising scheme. Um, so it, the C grid is dispersive. The uh, wave frequency does depend on wave number and this grid scale waves propagate too slowly. Uh, the C-grid is widely used in models of the atmosphere and ocean um, due to these better dispersion properties than the A-grid. So how does this work in 2D? We'll look at that in the next video.